Hi, this is Trailers from Hell. I'm Karin Kusama, and I'm introducing the 1948 film noir, Sorry, Wrong Number, directed by Anatole Litvak. Sorry, Wrong Number is a really interesting movie to me. It was written by a woman and was enormously popular in its time, which I think might have been a relative rarity. And it features an incredibly interesting performance by Barbara Stanwyck. She plays an invalid, which to me is already almost a line of comedy. The idea of Barbara Stanwyck ever playing an invalid is sort of perversely fascinating because it almost seems impossible. And in fact, that's the point of this movie, that she's literally playing an invalid and has convinced herself to a degree that she is uh, disabled and unable to leave the bed. But once we see that she had a past as a very vibrant and energetic woman, we realize that there's a huge amount of emotional manipulation that goes into her own self-identification as an invalid. What happens in this movie is such a wonderful storyline. She has a crossed line on her phone and overhears a conversation between what she realizes might be two killers and they are planning the murder of a woman at 11.15 that night. As the story progresses, what she realizes is she's hearing her own murder being plotted and she's trying to put the, the pieces together of this mystery while staying on the phone and in bed and barely moving. The film started as a radio play and it's a fascinating exercise in creating a cinematic execution of this movie because you have to jump across time and see a lot of different flashbacks from different points of view so it's a lot of flashbacks within flashbacks and it's a lot narratively to keep up with but what grounds it is Barbara Stanwyck's increasingly hysterical performance that is both very bossy and funny and smart, but also kind of pathetic and wan, and something that we're not really used to seeing from Barbara Stanwyck, or I certainly haven't seen many movies in which she plays such a complicated woman, in, in terms of, of also being somewhat weak. That's just not how I ever think of Barbara Stanwyck. And so there is something about seeing an incredibly strong woman so scared, it also feels like a precursor to sort of what became slasher horror in the 70s in that there was always that final girl who survived. This call brings a message of death for the one who must answer it. 